Yo, what is happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Dan Hawkins, motherfuckers. You know me playing Team Deathmatch on Atlas Gorge. I don't like this map. It's one of the three maps in this game I do not like. Number one being Perplex, because fuck Perplex. That's why. And Parliament. Parliament and Perplex are just maps that I have not done well on any time I've played it. It has just been utter destruction of Dan Harkins. Atlas Gorge, I don't hate it because I do terrible on it. I hate it because it's a boring fucking map and I hate it. I think that's really all I need to give uh, as far as what I don't like about this map. So let's jump into a topic here. Thinking. Let's see, we have uh, political commentary about uh, racism in the United States, uh, entertainment topic of uh, identity crisis and transgenderism. Um, no. I don't really like to discuss politics and what's going on in the world. The main factor for this, I would believe, is like, I don't fucking care. I read about it and I'm like, what? This is fucking news. No one gives a shit about this, but I'm wrong. There are people that give a shit about when a man turns into a woman or a woman turns into a man and the whole racial war that the media is trying to put Americans against. Um, I guess that is a bit of a political uh, commentary. So I guess I'll touch up on it. So if you're not in America, you might not know America has a history of all the Caucasian people uh, enslaving and treating African Americans uh, to a lesser extent lesser than human. This is called animosity between the African American culture and the Caucasian culture which clash daily as rights are issued out to African Americans as they integrate in society. They still have something holding them back which is that their skin color dictates how white people will treat them. Uh, you know, if you're black walking down a street by yourself and there's three white girls across the street, you know what? They're going to be a bit skeptical. They're thinking, you know what? This African-American man is going to come over here and rape me with his big black cock. That's what's going to happen. Or say you're at a gas station. It's late at night. And you see two black people dressed in, in hoods. You're thinking, oh, shit. They're going to rob this place. Meanwhile, they're, they're just getting some Takis and, and Cheetos. And, and some grape drink. Like seriously people, America is super racist. Think about this for a minute. We killed a bunch of Indian people and got rid of them. A lot of people don't like to think about that, but America has its own hands in genocide next to Stalin and Hitler. Fantastic history that uh, oddly never seems to be brought up about how bad we raped uh, Indian people and just fucking took this shit. I, it's crazy really and then we sit on this high horse and be like you can't do that you can't do this even though we did it so how do i feel about this racial shit going on in america i think it's personally dumb to constantly judge people on their skin color why this is still a big thing is beyond my comparisons we're all human right kid i i think we're all human uh, unless, you know, the Asians, Mexicans, Middle Eastern, and black people have just been, have superpowers, and oh, fuck you, nigga, get out of my face, trying to fucking get me like that, I hear you, I hear your fucking fist coming behind me, dumbass bitch, but that's what I'm trying to say, people, is, we're all human, think about that, so why do we treat other humans to an extent that, that is just lesser, and, and, this isn't a lie. Black people are treated like shit in America. Um, and it's sad, uh, but there's just this history, and I'll be honest, it I don't foresee it ever changing. I think there's always going to be, oh, he's black. I can't trust him. I don't like him. And black people like, white people just treat us like shit because it's fucking true. End of story. White people treat black people like shit, and we hate each other's guts. 
And it's, it's sad because it shouldn't be that way. And it's the same thing with Middle Eastern people when September 11th happened. Now it's just a fucking turn and everyone I hated Middle Eastern people. In fact, you know what? All of them are terrorists. They're going to blow everybody up. And, you know, we need to just treat them like shit too. And it's just, it sucks. Humanity is bullshit. We're not going anywhere. We're never getting flying cars. Okay, there is flying cars out there, but you know what? What about teleportation? There's so much that we as a civilization could strive to do better and change things, yet we're so pitiful that all we can think about is is killing people because the color of their skin or because of religion. And honestly, if aliens came here tonight and said, you know what? We want to take you away from this and destroy the planet, uh, asterisk. I'd be okay, and the asterisk is, could I take my friends and family along? And if they said no, I will hijack the alien ship and kill all the aliens and destroy their race. I guess it's just in hu hu us as humans, it's in our blood to just to kill each other. And that just sucks when you really think about it, guys. I mean, think, think about it. Uh, think why. I mean meet a random black person in your street and I'm sorry I'm not gonna use political terms of african-american the black or white Asians are yellow and they don't have a soul um, but you know what I'm saying are people there's good people right you right then there's bad people and then you have Indians and they all smell like shit cuz they eat curry all the time and if the world wanted to, to just a race of their kind I'd be okay with that, and I don't think that's racist. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it is. I mean, God, they always walk in gigantic lines that just block you. You can't go anywhere. They're slow. They're kids, and they whine and need a bajillion discounts on things. Ugh, Indian people. And I'm talking about the Indian people from India, not the fantastic Indians of North America. They're great people, even though all they do is fucking drink and do drugs. Stupid Indians. It, there's always something about everyone all these stereotypes but all joking aside we need to treat people with respect and and start advancing our technology there's just there's not enough happening there's all these bright minds scattered across you know planet earth which we need to get them all to come together to to make fantastic stuff um like android females we can have sex with or kind of vice versa but ladies can kind of stick anything in their vagina and they're good to go men we need and we need chobits people i fucking want chobits or sword online and maybe i need to stop ranch watching anime but i'm not going to because god damn it it's my american right to have my freedom even though when we compare america's freedoms to many of the other nations out there we're really not that free. So what exactly did the presidents and the forefathers fight for when at the end of the day we turned into a country that isn't much different uh, than what we were trying to get away from? Now, it's not to say that America is a terrible place and I, I hate it. That's a, that's a far-fetched, but there's a lot that could be done here at home. I mean, the, the way that we, we don't give good support for our troops. Um, we're so busy fighting a war on, on drugs. Listen, let people shoot up. Let people snort some lines. Let people do what they got to do. We need to focus our efforts somewhere else. Ugh, this is why I hate talking about politics. It, it makes me force like a serious opinion on things, and I hate that. I just want to talk about, god damn, I'm fucking raping people's asses, and I hate this. Because so many people don't utilize the most important part of this map. This tunnel structure. No one. Everyone's running on top, getting sniped. Th I, and every time I've played this map, I've never seen anyone down here. It's just me going up and down. And you pop in, kill someone in the back, and you can just keep going nonstop down here. The chances of you running into one person... It's just, it's unlikely. I don't foresee it happening. Um, but this game is coming to an end. And right now, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to finish with a perfect. And I fucking did. I'm awesome, by the way. Um, so you know what? Join me next time where I discuss 
how the greenhouse effect isn't actually real. Until then, take care.